Hey everybody, um, I got a request to test out the new Threat Fire, or uh, PC Tools, sorry, Antivirus Free, but I decided to make it a compilation, so I went and I also installed Threat Fire and PC Tools Firewall Plus. Um, Threat Fire is set to its standard 3 sensitivity, and uh, the PC Tools Firewall is also set to normal user mode. It uh, hasn't been messed with in uh, anything, any of the settings have not been messed with with any of these programs. Uh, I have uh, six links here, so let's uh, give it a try here. Okay, so the video plugin is trying to access the internet, so we'll allow this because this is just a firewall alert. Once again, it's just trying to access the internet. See if it downloads anything else. There we go. Trying to modify the memory of compact PA1 player driver, so we will block that. Create a system task. We'll block that. And we'll block that. And there we go. Uh, threat fire. Found a problem, so we'll kill in quarantine. The antivirus didn't do anything on that one. Okay, once again, it's trying to access the internet, so we'll let it access the internet. And threat fire found found a problem. Still attempting to create a process. Seems like that one's dead. last one here Internet Explorer found that one and apparently I can't open that, uh, these files let's check them out real quick But let's do a scan here with the antivirus. Uh, as you saw, the antivirus didn't pop up once. It was only threat fire and the firewall. So let's make sure that it's updated. It's 
so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure this is updated and then I'm going to do a full scan and I will be back when the full scans done okay so uh, the scan finished here for PC uh, tools antivirus and it actually found one of the files I downloaded and saved and it found a tracking cookie so we will fix both of them we'll see how long it uh, it's creating a restore point now so I'll be back when this is done okay so it removed both of them go to the folder where I downloaded, one of them is gone. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run Malwarebytes updated to a scan. So I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so uh, Malwarebytes finished scanning, but I just realized I forget to use CCleaner. But that's okay because uh, what I found here was uh, two registry keys that have been changed. So we'll fix those, um, and then I'll run C Cleaner, and then I'll run uh, Super Anti Spyware to do a scan with that. So I'll be back after all that's done. Okay, uh, I also realized that last time <clears throat> my mic I think was uh, in the wrong position, so you guys might have a little bit of hard time hearing. But I just realized that uh, I did finish scanning with uh, Super Anti Spyware, and it did not find anything. So the last thing that I have to scan with is uh, Hitman Pro. So I'll scan with that, and I'll be back when I have the results. Okay, so uh, Hitman Pro finished scanning, and it didn't find anything. So that's good. Um, but in reality, it wasn't... Uh, the, the original test that I had, I suspended these so my scan would go faster. The original test that I had was a request for was for the antivirus. And you saw that it didn't do anything to protect the computer. The two components that did were the firewall and threat fire. Um, but I just wanted to show you what these three products put together could do. My only problem is that they are uh, very resource heavy. I can definitely feel a slowdown in the computer here. And um, memory wise, they're actually pretty high memory wise usage too. As you can see right there, using uh, close to probably 40 megs if you add it all together. So that combined with pretty high CPU usage. Um, really slows down the computer. So at this point in time I probably wouldn't, rec I definitely wouldn't recommend um, PC Tools Antivirus. I would uh, look for another free solution. Um, there's plenty of better solutions out there for you. Alright, so that's it for this review. Everybody take care and have a good day.